let's discuss the relationship between the range and power of a portable and mobile radio. What a radio, whether it's a portable or a mobile, does is convert battery power into radio frequency power. And this is radiated out of the antenna. Range of a radio is dependent on both the power that's available to it and also the frequency in which it's working. So you've got a mobile radio, which is around 25 watts of output power. And it's hooked up to the mains or to a car battery. And it's got a pretty substantial radio. Its range is going to be pretty good, pretty far. Now, because a mobile radio is radiating an awful lot of power, as a byproduct, it's also radiating a lot of heat. So it's got a metal body to drain off this excess heat. By contrast, you've got a portable radio. A portable radio has an output power of only about 5 watts. Because it's using a smaller battery and it's not radiating so much, it doesn't need a metal body in order to radiate excess heat because there isn't much. So a plastic body will do. And for convenience sake, it's got a smaller antenna. It could have a larger one to radiate further, but this would stick like a car antenna from somebody's back pocket or hip. You do sometimes see this in army personnel or police in foreign countries. The mobile has greater range than the portable simply because it's got greater power available. Now, the relationship with frequency. The range available in some frequencies is better than others. VHF goes further than higher frequencies, such as UHF or 700 and 800 megahertz. Higher frequencies actually get inside buildings better. So the range depends very much on the frequency. It also depends on the output power.